it's Mrs. Kessel. Welcome back to STEAM Enrichment. This week we are working on our second Google Slides lesson where you are going to be learning some new skills. Let's take a look. You are going to be learning how to open a slideshow from Google Drive. You're going to learn how to make a copy of your slideshow, how to change text color, how to add a text box and type in it, how to insert a picture, how to insert a shape, and how to turn your work in on Google Drive. So those are the things we're doing today. Last week, we learned how to change the theme, how to change the font, how to change the font size, and how to type in a text box. So if you did not watch the video last week, you need to go back and watch the video and do these things because today we are moving on to new skills. So you need to make sure if you did not do these last week, you go back and watch it and catch up, okay? Let's move on. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to open your slideshow from Google Drive. So there are a couple ways to get to Google Drive. Here's what I think is the easiest one. When you open a new tab and go to Google, these nine little dots appear. If you click on it, Google Drive is right there. It's this green, blue, and yellow triangle. Second way, if you're on a Chromebook, down here at the bottom, there should be a Google Drive symbol. It's a triangle that is green, blue, and yellow. I don't have it because I'm not on a Chromebook, but you should have it. Okay, next, the other way you can do it is you can go to your home screen, which will take you, if you click the home button, it takes you to the student portal. Mine takes me to just the main page, but yours will take you to the student portal. Now when you're in the student portal, you go here where it says useful links and you can click on Google Drive Docs Login. Okay, so that's three ways you can get to your Google Drive. Pause the video and choose one of them. Get yourself to Google Drive. All right, now I'm in my Google Drive right now. I'm gonna open a student Google Drive because I wanna show a student work. So up here I can see my picture. That's how I know I'm in my Google account. If I click that, I can add another account. So if you if you have a brother or sister or a family member that shares your computer, you might have to switch to your account. I'm going to go to a student account. So I'm going to say add another account. And I'm going to find that student that I want to sign in as. This student did a really great job last week following all of my directions. So I want to show off his wonderful work. When you're in your Google Drive, things that you have done recently will show up right here. It says quick access, okay? So he recently worked on his favorite animal slideshow. It's right here. If yours isn't showing up, if you've worked on a lot of things, you can always search for it. It was called lesson one. So I can see there it is, his name, Google Slides lesson one. That's it. I click on it and I open it. It's that simple. Okay, so now that I'm in here, I can see this student's work. He did a wonderful job. So once again, once again, let's look at what we had to do last week. We had to change the theme, change the font, change the font size, and type in a text box. Let's see how well this student did that. First of all, I can see he chose this really bright, nice theme. Um, and I know that when you're in the theme menu, this is one of the choices. You could choose whatever theme you wanted, but he chose a theme. Second, I can see that he changed the font. So up here, his letters are written differently, okay? And I can see he changed his font size as well, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then if I click to slide two, I can see that he filled in all of the boxes with the correct information. So this student did an A plus job. He did all of his work. Great job, Hassan. I'm really proud of you. But we have this blank slide, and that's what we're gonna be working on today. However, if you try to type on it, you can't because up here it says comment only. That's because you already turned in your Google Slideshow to me and I own it now. You can't write on something I own. So we're going to have to make a copy of our slideshow. So let's see how we do that. And once again, if you haven't split your screen yet, you need to split your screen so you can watch my video on one side and do your work on the other and pause my video and do your work, go back to the video, pause it, do your work, and so on, okay? To split your screen, once again, you just double click up here and it will split your screen and you can drag whatever tab you want 
to the other side so you can watch the video and work, okay? To unsplit your screen, you just double click and it unsplits it. So how I'm gonna make a copy is I'm gonna go up here to File, Make a Copy, Entire Presentation. This is great when your teacher sends something out and you can't write on it, you can just make your own copy. So once again, to make a copy, you click File, Make a Copy, Entire Presentation. And it's gonna come up with this. It wants you to give it a new name. So we can see it's called copy of, and then it has the same title. I'm gonna get rid of the words copy of, and I'm gonna get rid of all of these numbers. I'm gonna delete them. And I'm gonna change this to lesson two. We were on lesson one, this is now going to be lesson two. And I'm going to say, okay. And you can see a new tab opened. So here I have the new slideshow. It looks exactly the same. It's called Lesson 2. I can see that up here at the top. And if I click back to the old one, it's still Lesson 1 and it's comment only. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to be working on the Lesson 2 slideshow that looks exactly the same. Okay, so once again, the student has changed his theme. He has changed his font. I can see that. He has changed his font size to 36. I originally had it set at 55. He changed it correctly. Good job and he wrote in his text boxes. So now let's move on to some new skills and see how we do those things. So what new skills we're doing today, we were opening our slideshow from Google Drive, check, we did that. We were making a copy, check, we did that. Now we have to talk about changing text color and adding text boxes. We're gonna do the changing color and text boxes first, okay? So I'm gonna to go to the third slide, and this is what we're gonna do. Now, I don't wanna work on the students, so I'm gonna to go to my presentation. I'm gonna switch presentations really quickly, okay? So here's my presentation. This is what your third slide is going to end up looking like, but with pictures and information about your animal. So I chose bats as my favorite animal. You can do this with whatever you like. So this is what it should look like at the end, I'm gonna delete this and show you how I got here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is let's start with the pictures. I know I said text boxes, but let's start with the pictures. I wanna put in two pictures of my animal that show an adaptation that helped them to survive. So here's how I put in pictures. Up at the top, I see the word insert. If you can't see these menus, it's because you have them hidden like that. So all you do is you click this little down arrow and all of your menus will appear, okay? So if you ever can't see that, you just click that down arrow. So I click on insert image, and I'm going to click search the web. And I'm going to look for a picture of bat wings because bat's wings are one thing that helped them survive. It's one of their adaptations. I think this is a good picture of bat's wings, so I click on it, and it gives it a check mark, and I click insert. And now I have a picture. I can change the size by dragging this. I'm gonna make it about that big. Now I'm gonna put in my second picture. Once again, I go to insert, image, search the web. This time, I think I wanna talk about bats ears. Ooh, here's some good pictures. Oh, look at these ugly little faces. They're so ugly that they're cute. I just love them. I think this is a really good picture of some bat's ears. I'm gonna click on that one and click insert. And now I have my next picture. That's a really big picture. I wanna make it a little smaller and I'm gonna drag it down to the bottom. Okay, so that's how you insert pictures. Right now I want you to insert two pictures of your favorite wild animal from the internet just the way I showed you. If you need to rewind the video and see it again, go ahead. Pause the video now and put in your two pictures. Okay, now you have two pictures. Let's add some text boxes. Actually first, let's add some shapes. Let's do the shapes first because I need to point out what I'm talking about. So to add some shapes, I go back to this this ribbon and I'm going to click on the circle and square that says shape and I want to add an arrow I think to point to these wings so I want the arrow that's pointing to the left 
And when I click on it, my mouse, my cursor turns into a plus sign, and that means I can click and drag, and that will make the shape. Now, because of my theme, it automatically fills it in green. I'm gonna change the color. So I have it selected, and I come up here to the paint bucket, and I'm gonna change this to red because I want it to stand out. So now I have changed the color of my shape, the fill color of my shape. I've added a shape and changed the color. Go ahead and add your first shape on your first picture. Pause the video now. All right, next I'm going to add my second shape. This time I don't want an arrow, I want a circle. So I'm gonna come back up to the shape menu just like I did before. And this time I'm gonna click a circle because I want to circle those big old ears. And when I click that, once again, my cursor turns into a plus sign. So now I can click and drag. But uh-oh, it filled my shape in green and now you can't see the ear. So I'm gonna come back up to the paint bucket and I'm going to pick transparent. Transparent means see-through. If I pick white, it will just make my circle white. I don't want that. I want transparent. Okay, so now I have this circle. I can always resize the shape. I can always change it to make it fit a little better. I can drag it if I didn't put it in the right spot to begin with. But I noticed that this circle is really hard to see. So I'm going to come up to the border color next to the paint bucket, and I'm going to choose red because I want it to stand out. I still think it's hard to see, so I'm gonna come back up here, and this time I'm gonna click border weight. This makes your circle thicker. It makes your line thicker. I'm gonna choose eight. And now I have a big, thick red line, so you know I'm talking about the ear, okay? So, so far we have inserted pictures. We've done that two times. We have inserted two shapes, change the line color and change the fill color with the paint bucket. Now we just have to talk about changing the text color and adding a text box. Let's do that. So now I have to say something about this. So I'm going to tell why I'm pointing to this wing by adding a text box. Up here, it says text box. It's a square with a T. I click on that. Once again, my cursor is now a plus sign. I click and drag. And I can type here. So I'm going to tell about how the wing helps animals, helps this animal survive. I'm gonna say, bats wings help them to survive by allowing them to fly through the air to catch their prey. So they eat bugs, right? Bugs fly, bats fly, and that's how they get them. So the wings help them to get them. Now I'm gonna add another text box this time about the ear. I click on the T for text box. I click and drag, and I have a new text box. Now I'm gonna talk about the ear. So how do bats' ears help them to survive? Well, I'm going to say bats use their large ears to hear very high-pitched squeaks made by other bats, even from far away. This helps them communicate easily. Okay, so that's how their big ears help them to survive. They use their ears to hear very high-pitched squeaks made by other bats, even from far away, and it helps them to communicate easily. There are other ways their ears help them survive. This is just one of the ways their ears help them. So now I've added two text boxes and explained my pictures. The last thing I'm going to do, actually I'm gonna pause you. If you have not added your text boxes and your information yet, pause the video now and do that. Okay. The last thing we're gonna do before we turn it in is change our text color. So I don't like this font. I'm gonna change the font first. Let's review how I do that. I select everything and then I can change my font. I'm gonna use Century Gothic. And I can make it bigger if I'd like, which I would like. And now I'm going to change the color.
So I don't want just plain black. I'm gonna come over here to the A that says text color. And I think I wanna use like dark purple. I think that will look nice. And I'm gonna to go to my next text box. I'm gonna select everything. I'm going to change my font. And I'm gonna make it a little bigger. If it goes outside of your text box, you can either make it smaller or make your text box larger to fit everything, okay? And then I'm going to change the color of this one. Once again, if you have a light background, don't do something like yellow. It makes it very hard to see. Only use the bright colors if you have a dark background. So I'm gonna stick with a dark color. I'm gonna do dark turquoise, okay. So I've changed this to purple and this to dark turquoise. Let's see if there's anything else. Change the text color, adding a text box. Boom, we did those. I've done all of my skills. Now I just have to turn it in on Google Drive. So before you turn it in, pause this video and change your colors. Make sure your slide looks like mine. Should it be exactly the same? No, because none of you told me bats were your favorite animal. It should have information about your favorite animal. So go ahead and pause the video and make sure your third slide is looking good now. All right, the last step is you're gonna turn in your work on Schoology. So when you go back to Schoology and you're in the week nine folder, you're gonna click where it says turn in here, lesson two, turn in here. And it looks different than it did last week. You actually have to add your your assignment. So you click submit assignment, this button. And then you don't want upload, you don't want create, you want resources because Google Slides is a resource. When you get to resources, you click apps. And then your slideshow should be the first thing on there. Okay? And you click on the little square, import, import file and it will be turned in. I'm gonna show that one more time. Once you're in here and your work is all done and looking good, you click Submit Assignment, Resources, Apps, click on the little square next to your work you wanna turn in, Import, Import File. Okay, I'm not gonna turn in this student's work because I would like you to do it but that is how you turn it in. If you have questions, you can always email me or send me a message. I'm really proud of how many people have started doing their work recently. I know it's difficult, um, but that means you're learning. If something is easy, you didn't learn anything. So you wanna be challenged. You've learned Google Slide skills today and you've learned some Schoology skills today. You should be really proud of yourself. I know I'm really proud of you. Keep up the wonderful work, and I'll see you soon. Bye.